Yo, good afternoon, viewers of the tube. Tyler here of Chico Crypto, and welcome to another episode of Breaking Down the Blockchain. This is where we dive into tech from some of the most revolutionary crypto projects around. So everyone who has watched my channel knows I am a NEO diehard, but recently there has been a lack of updates and communication from the NEO team regarding development of the platform and the tech. It seems like once we entered into this bear market, the team went into hibernation. Well, this is not necessarily a bad thing. Let me explain why. Let's take a look at this image of the Gartner hype cycle for emerging technologies. All new tech goes through this and cryptocurrency is no different. You have the technology trigger, an extreme hype cycle which leads to a peak of expectations, followed by a crash into disillusion, followed by a slope back into a plateau of productivity. Let's now take a look at the Bitcoin market back in 2014. As you can see, if we layer on top the hype cycle, it seems eerily similar. The technology trigger that pushed crypto into this hype cycle was Bitcoin itself. This led to inflated prices for where the technology was at and led to the subsequent crash. After the crash, it was the projects that kept their heads down and focused on the productivity of their platform, which were able to survive the two year bear long plateau. One of those projects was Ethereum, who was able to deploy their blockchain, which allowed Turing complete smart contracts and the ERC 20 token standard in early 2017 which led to the next Gartner hype cycle, which we just experienced last year. Let's now layer on top the Gartner hype cycle on this graph of the entire crypto market from the beginning of May 2017 to where we currently are. Again, we have entered a plateau of productivity. This is where projects like NEO, who are coming up with game-changing technology, will trigger the next hype cycle and be the ones who reap most of the rewards. What is this game-changing technology? Well, NEO heard my cries for an update on their technology, and a couple days ago, they released a quarter two to quarter four research and development roadmap. And it looks like throughout the rest of the year, we are going to be getting some sweet developments on some of this game-changing technology. First, in quarter two, we will get the NEO QS research update, which I am drooling over. NEO is looking to future-proof their platform, and NEO QS is the tech that will seal the deal. NEO QS is the anti-quantum cryptography mechanism. With quantum computers on the rise, many cryptographic mechanisms such as RSA and ECC will lose their security. NEO is working on short vector problem and recent vector problem algorithms, which are considered to be the most reliable for resisting quantum computers. Between quarter two and quarter three, they will be releasing a NEOFS research update. NEOFS stands for NEO File Storage, and it is the distributed storage protocol. From what we know of NEOFS, it will use a distributed hash table and index data through a hash rather than a file path. Large files are then divided into fixed size data blocks and distributed and stored in many, many different nodes. This system will be incentivized by tokens, and backbone nodes will be established, which are incentivized to perform well. Users will be able to choose reliability requirements for their files. Ones that have low reliability requirements can be stored for free or on the cheap, while high reliability files will pay for stable, reliable storage and hosting, i.e. think enterprises. So NEOFS will enable smart contracts to store large files on the blockchain. Combined with NEOID, digital identities and certificates can be assigned, sent, and revoked without a central server. NEOFS will also help with scalability, as it can store old block data, releasing the nodes of that duty. The next update comes in quarter three, and that will be the NEO Global Development and City of Zion Joint Development Sprint. Not sure exactly what they are developing as it's not explained, but I would think it has some things to do with the next exchange. Also in quarter three, they will have the NEP8 stack isolated for the NEO virtual machine. This proposal was brought forward by the NEO Jedi himself, Eric Zhang. What this does is isolates the NEO VM stack to ensure the security of dynamic invocations. 
This allows calls to registries to discover what services are available for the DApp invoking. Clients will be able to define operations at runtime instead of having them defined before being developed. What this tech jargon means is ease of use for developers and will allow many new features in the DApps that has Ethereum fanboys secretly getting hard. Another quarter three bonus is the NEP9 URI Sheem. This is a standard for native asset transfer and basically creates URI strings like this which make interacting with the blockchain extremely easy. O3 Labs has been working hard on this and their hard work is definitely paying off. An example of what this can do is for QR codes. They could input into the URI string that an item costs two gas. When the QR code is scanned, it will automatically deduct two gas from the payer and deposit into the receiver's wallet. The possibilities with this are limitless. That is why Neo Global Development took notice, and implementation is coming very soon. Quarter 4 has two major things, one starting and one being fully implemented. The one beginning testing is probably the most anticipated feature of NEO, NEO X. NEO X is a cross-chain interoperability agreement which will allow communication between NEO and other blockchains such as Ontology, Ethereum, and even Bitcoin. NEO X is composed of two parts the cross-chain asset exchange protocol and cross-chain distributed transaction protocol. The cross-chain asset protocol is extending on existing double standard atomic swaps with the vision of an asset transfer either succeeding together or failing together throughout the entire transaction. NEO contract is being used to create a contract for each participant outside the blockchain. And NEO X will allow blockchains not compatible with NEO contract to connect and exchange as long as they have simple smart contract functionality, such as Bitcoin. The cross-chain distributed transaction protocol is an extension and makes it possible for cross-chain smart contracts, where smart contracts perform different actions on each chain. Not much more is released on the tech of this, but it will give many different possibilities for cross-chain collaborations, and it will be the first blockchain to allow this. All I have to say is exciting times are ahead for the NEO holders who have been resilient in the face of this bear market. NEO is the project that has had its head down and is focusing on the tech because some of this tech is going to eventually spark the next hype cycle. Cheers viewers and as always I will see you tomorrow.